is Bill Gilmore, and I'm the uh, CEO of the Baltimore Office of Promotion and the Arts. And I'm here tonight to welcome you to Light City 2017. This year's festival is going to be bigger, brighter, and bolder. So as the Arts Council, um, Event Center, and Film Office for the city, we are very proud to be able to bring you this fabulous event. I'd also like to, like to take a moment to thank the staff of the Office of Promotion and the Arts. Without them, this wouldn't be possible. So we're going to keep this really tight and um, really make it something very special for you. And it's now my pleasure to introduce Calvin Butler. just went through about three pages of notes in 30 seconds. But that's all right, Bill. Thank you. Hey, are we ready? Yeah! Light City 2017. Bigger, brighter, and bolder. And BGE is proud to be the sponsor. And the fact that we have so many people out on a night like this says a lot about Baltimore. And it says a lot about this is for Baltimore each and every day. And for so many people to come out here, let me just say thank you. And to my BGE colleagues, we are so proud to be the lead sponsor of Light City. But note one thing, this does not happen without partnerships. This does not happen without collaboration. This is so much more than about the art you're going to see, the inner harbor. This is about our neighborhoods. This is about our entire city. And one couple that has been committed to making this much more than just about the art is Tom and Jamie McDonald. They have been partners, as I like to say, in crime, but good crime, every step of the way. But more importantly, they're good friends, and they have made sure that Baltimore is always presenting its best every step forward. So without further ado, please join me in welcoming Jamie McDonald. Thank you, Calvin. Hi, Baltimore. So excited to see you all out here on this rainy night. We're going to have a little bit of rain, and then it's going to clear, and we're going to have an incredible first night of Light City 2017. But building on what Calvin said, we couldn't do this without all of you from across Baltimore who've decided to make Light City their own, who've volunteered their time, they've given us their input, they've given us their creative ideas, and that starts right at the top with our mayor, Madam <laughs> Catherine Pugh. We're so fortunate that we have a city that understands the importance of gathering together and doing big things. And every single day, all of you in your own way are figuring out how we make our city bigger, bolder, and brighter. And Light City is the coming together of all of that incredible energy. But as a nonprofit festival, we couldn't do this without the people that provide the financial support that allows us to put this on. And so beyond our incredible leadership partner, BGE, we're really fortunate to have our friends from Kaiser Permanente. <laughs> and in the interest of the, uh, the wet weather, I'm gonna just hand over the mic to Kaiser's amazing local regional president, Kim Horn. <laughs> Good evening. Thank you, Jamie. And thanks for everyone braving this night of rainy weather to come out and show Baltimore. We rock, right? Right. Right. And this is, we're so proud of Kaiser Permanente to be a part of this amazing festival, the second inaugural. You know, and this city has so much to offer, and this uh, light city um, festival shows off everything that is great about Baltimore. So if you live here, if you work here, or if you travel here, it's a great place. And speaking of visitors and travel, um, last year, what, 400,000 people saw this city because of this event? And just as Calvin said, this year is going to be bigger, bolder, and brighter. So. No further ado, I'm going to pass it off now to Al Hutchinson, who um, is the CEO of uh, Visitor Baltimore Visitors. <laughs> so, 
Hey, what's happening, Baltimore? So uh, we're super excited about this year's Light City, and this is truly a, a partnership with the city, the private sector, of the city of Baltimore, as well as really the citizens here. This is about a neighborhood event. We're truly excited about you all joining us tonight. We've got the you know the, the white the sunshine here, the wet sunshine is coming down. So we're really truly excited. Tell all your family and friends to come out to this great event. We're excited about it. Join us in this fantastic week of just celebrating technology, innovation, music, and light. And we're going to be the number one light festival in the world. So we need you all. I'm going to turn it back over to Bill Gilmore, but we really appreciate you joining us mayor. for this fantastic event that we're going to have yes, here in Baltimore. Thank you very much. Thank you, Al. Now it's my pleasure to bring to the podium our mayor and our arts champion, Catherine Pugh. This is really great. I just want you all to know that I talked to the great weatherman upstairs, and this is going yeah, to go away very shortly. And we're going to have a great time in Baltimore with the Great Light Festival. So I want you all to keep smiles on your face. 400,000 people, including the people of our city, will be going throughout the Inner Harbor area, but also throughout our neighborhoods. I also want to take a moment to thank the businesses who lit up their buildings. Look at that light. And I'm so grateful to all the young people who are out here. We can't wait to see the parade, but you all, let's make Light City the greatest festival in America. Let's make it the greatest city in the world. Thank you all. Have a wonderful, wonderful time at Light City. Let's do a countdown. You ready? Let's go. Five, four, three, two, one. It's all dance now. Yeah. Fire it up! Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you want to see?